Welcome back, it's Teresa's Dad. My name is Teresa and I'm very much alive. And if you're new here, welcome. I have an awful garbage mouth where I tend to use fuck as a comma. If you're not into that or weird shit in general, this is not the place for you. Feel free to X out the video here. No harm, no foul. But I remember our time fondly. If you want to jump straight to the overall review of the products, I'll leave a time code down below. Feel free to jump ahead. Guys, you know what my favorite thing to do when working a holiday week is traveling. I don't know why, but it's like weeks like July 4th, Christmas, Thanksgiving, New Year's Eve. There's always that period in the city where it's completely dead. And it's so fucking nice because you can actually get a seat. You can breathe. You don't feel like someone's about to touch you. It's awesome. However, this gives a great opportunity to all the fucking weirdos that live in the city to come slithering out of their holes and wreak havoc on the good people of New York. So on July 3rd, I had to go to work, but I was only working a half day, so I'm not going to complain. I think a lot of the offices that were in the area were also getting off around that time. It was a mass exodus to the train system. So I get on the one train and it's fine to transfer to the next train and I'm waiting for an E-train. I'm waiting for like seven minutes. Now the platform is starting to get crowded and I'm like, fuck, all right, well, hopefully I'll just get on this one because I just want to get home. I'm so tired. Seven minutes passes, the train comes in. Soon as soon as the doors open, I just hear, And that was the second time I was abducted by aliens. Obviously, the universe is rewarding me today. Let me see what this motherfucker has to say. So I get on the train, and now the train is packed, so I don't know who's yelling. So I'm like trying to scan around the car, like looking for somebody in like a green alien suit, something. Nothing. I find nothing. So a couple minutes passes, and it's quiet. And then I hear a man yell, This time I was prepared. And when I heard that, I noticed in the corner of my eye that there was a man sitting down on some seats, decked out in the American flag, like decked out, like Uncle Sam on crack. It was amazing. So now I'm like holding onto the pole, trying to get a good look at this man because he is beautiful. <laughs> I can't even explain it. It was just like red, white, and blue just threw up all over itself. So then the man starts yelling again. I serve those motherfuckers cookies. I have a lot of questions, okay. So now I'm noticing that he's trying to make eye contact with people. I guess to like solidify his point that you should serve cookies. Literally everybody's like this. And here I am like this. I just wanted him to look at me because I wanted him to keep going because I'm like, this is gonna be a good story time. <laughs> Wear blue. They will not take you if you wear blue. At that time, I wasn't wearing any blue, so I was like, oh, fuck, they're gonna take me. But I did look down at my nail polish and I noticed that it was blue-ish. So I almost wanted to be like, hi, sir, um, if I have blue nail polish, is that okay? Is that fine? I figured if I do that, there's probably a good chance that I won't see tomorrow. So let me just shut the fuck up. <laughs> So then at this point, the man's mumbling. It's hard for me to even hear what he's saying. We pull into the next station, and as soon as the doors start opening, he jumps up, and this man was fucking tall. Like, he had to be a bit, at least about 6'2", 6'4". He starts barreling towards the door, pushing people out of his way, and he just screams. Did you people hear me? They're coming. They don't like oatmeal raisin. And then got out of the train. And as the train doors closed, I watched that man run down the platform in a blaze of glory, and I thought to myself, I wonder if today is the day the aliens come. Hmm. On today's video, we're gonna be talking about the Wet n Wild Pac-Man collection, which is this beautiful box right here. I went to go look up the individual products, but I can't find anything online, so that's kind of fucking infuriating. So I can't really read you some descriptions, but uh, whatever, we'll, we'll just power through it, so. This guy retails, well, it did retail for a whopping $69.99. Did I spend that much? Fuck no, I didn't. I had a shitload of Ulta points and a little bit of an Ulta gift card, so I got this motherfucker for $35, and I think for $35, it's worth that price tag. If I had to pay $70, I would be pissed. In any case, this is the packaging. First of all, it's gorgeous. I am a big video game nerd. Actually, I should take that back. I like video games, but I'm not really much of a player. I'm more of a watcher. I'm basically the backseat driver to video games if you want to be technical about it, but whatever. But I do play a mean paperboy, so if you want to challenge me on that, <laughs> I'll fuck you up. But in any case, this collection, when it first was announced, it seemed a little like, why? 
I'm confused. But then the more I started looking at it, the more I was like, why don't I own this? And that's why I picked it up. Here's the box. It's basically like a nice little like hat style box. Very cute, very nice quality I might add. Love the detailing on this guy, so fucking cute. When you open her up, I'm gonna try not to like spill everything out. I kind of got rid of some of the packaging so don't mind it, but essentially what you get is you get a lip scrub, you get a lip balm, eyeshadow palette, a blush palette, power palette blush lighters, four different lip glosses, and you get a bronzer palette bronzer. And then when you open this part up, you get this really cute cardboard piece. So adorable. And on this side, you get two brushes, which brushes are not in the box. They're over there, so I'll get those in a second. And you do get some nail polish. I'm gonna talk about the things that I was able to use and also talk about the things that I wasn't able to use and I'll tell you why. So when I got this in the mail, I literally lost my shit because it's so much cuter in person than it is online. So I was like, shit, you know, I'm really tired. I don't wanna play with makeup, but I wanna do something with it. So why don't I paint my nails? Because my nails be ratchet. And I left all my nail polish in my old apartment and I have to go get it, but I'm just being lazy because I just don't wanna go to that old neighborhood. I fucking hate everybody there. But anyway, so I was super excited to see this because what I was going to do was I was going to paint my nails one of each color. So when I opened the packaging, I was like, what the fuck is this? First of all, the yellow, it actually leaked out of the packaging. So it was all yellow all the way in here and it was completely dried. So it's been like that for a hot minute. The other colors were fine with the exception of the purple color. Hey, wet and wild. Um, um, yeah, bitch. What happened? Okay, so I was like, you know what? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna paint my nails. Don't mind that one. Uh, anyway, so I figured, you know, I'm just gonna try every color out. The yellow is not really that good, but um, here's my problem. So when I opened the pink one up, right? Yeah, yeah. So this was on the end of it, um, <laughs> and then I took it off, and then. Yeah, and then to make matters worse, the yellow came open. So, had I paid full price for this, I think I would be really fucking upset right now. But being that it's uh, nail polish, I'm not too upset. Although that red though looks actually pretty fucking good. The red and no, well, the red actually looks probably the best. The orange maybe followed, and eh, the blue. Eh, eh. Um, yeah, went well. What's up with that? Yeah. Went well, um, you need to come fix this shit. So, uh, I'll be expecting a DM from you. Just saying. You better fix this. Or else. Actually, there, there's no threat there. Just... You better fix it. Just fix this, okay? Wet and Wild did contact me. First they said, Ah! Love the unboxing. And I was like, Ooh, bitch. I don't think they fucking heard what I was saying. Did you purchase that from us? I know, I'm so bummed. I got it from Ulta because I don't see you guys selling the complete box on the website and it got delivered today. Well, your red and orange nails look really, really great. We're selling the full box and products on our website in July. We will look into the nail polish issue. Sorry that happened. <laughs> Okay, thanks. Here's the thing, they're not obligated to ever send me anything, right? And what I could have done is I could have went to Ulta, returned it, and then tried to purchase another one. But being that this was so limited edition, I was just like, you know what, it's nail polish. I wasn't really that jazzed about it fucking anyway. It was just like probably the, the thing that I was the least excited about in this box. I don't know, and maybe I'm wrong. Like if I was a brand and that happened, I don't know, I feel like I would have to be like, hey, we'll send you a replacement. I've been the wet and wild representative I would have been like oh my god I'm really sorry we're gonna ship you out some nail polishes instead of just saying to you oh you could rebuy this in July <laughs> granted because I purchased this through Ulta wet and wild doesn't have any obligation to send me shit like that kind of just annoyed me because I feel like they should have done something to remedy this situation again I know they are not obligated to give me shit but I know like I've been into other establishments where things just didn't work out very well and the management or whatever went out of their way to make it right and I just felt like in this situation considering all the bullshit that they're in, you would think that they would want an ally or two, but I digress. Anyway, I know it's probably like a silly thing for me to talk about, but it kind of just, I don't know, those little touches kind of mean something to me. And like I said, I could be completely wrong and so be it. That's just how I feel about it. So if you disagree, let me know down below. So the next two things that are in that same compartment is these two brushes. One is the powder brush 
eyeshadow brush. These are incredibly soft and I'm very, very bougie when it comes to brushes. I don't like when things are too scratchy. I wouldn't say it's an overall powder brush, but I'd probably use it as either a blush or bronzer. It's a perfect size for that. And then this brush I actually really like. I think it's really good. I think it's a decent size. At first I was kind of a little bit like, oh, I don't know if it's gonna be too big, but I think this is the perfect size for my little ass hooded eyes. So I think these are pretty. Plus what's really cool about them is they have all this like little glitter and they have like little tiny Pac-Mans that kind of come out of it. It's really cute. Is it a little cheap looking? Yes, but I mean, because it has the little Pac-Man guys in there, I'll look past it. I don't know, I just think they're fun. I don't have anything that does this. I feel like a little kid. So if you're interested in these brushes, they will not disappoint you. They're very good. So here are the two things that I didn't try, which is the lip scrub, which is a little green guy right here. Is that green apple? Fuck, I wish Alex was home because he could smell this. I think it's green apple. I don't know what the fuck. I don't know why I'm smelling things. You you guys know I can't smell shit. It actually smells pretty good. Whatever I can smell. So I can't really comment on it, but packaging wise, fucking 10 out of 10, this is adorable. Now, the other thing is like the little cherry lip balm. Here's the thing where I feel like they fucked up. I wish they almost flipped it and made this more of like a dome shape, like an EOS ball. Personally, I hate dipping my little piggy finger in anything and then rubbing stuff on my lips. That annoys the shit out of me. I hate that. I hate when chapsticks are like that. It's just like, just make it the EOS ball. Come on, get your head out of your ass. I feel like they kind of had the space to do it too. Could have done something, but whatever. Anyway, so I can't really comment on these things, but they are adorable though. So again, packaging 10 out of 10. Quality, mm. I don't know. So the next things are these lip glosses. I have to say that I was pleasantly surprised. At first I thought it was going to be the liquid lipstick catsuit formula, which I was automatically gonna be like, fuck this, I'm gonna throw all these away because I really hate that formula. I just think it's so gritty and bleh, so gross. But I was pleasantly surprised that these are actually gloss. And I have to say that these are really, really opaque for gloss, especially the red and the purple shades. This is like a beautiful peach gloss that's so gonna look really nice over everything. So I currently right now have the purple gloss on and it's very comfortable. It's not overly sticky. I really like it. I definitely think this is gonna be like more of a go-to thing for the summertime. Cause I don't know, I like that it gives me shine, but it also gives me coverage as well. And I feel like my lips are hydrated, it's nice. Plus this packaging is fucking so cute. The one that I wasn't a huge fan of was the blue one, only because like in the little swatch that I'm showing you, I had to layer it on about fucking seven times to actually have like a solid layer. Blue is not really my lip color of choice. I have to kind of experiment with that one, maybe to see what it looks like over lipstick or something, but I don't know, the blue shade just looks like I blew a Smurf and I'm not really into that. But these three are really awesome though. If I had to pick one, I really do love this pink moment. I think it's really cute. I feel like my name is Barbara and I sell real estate. It's great. But I think this is probably the most versatile one because this is pretty much like peach lip gloss. I would say like if you want to be a neutral Nelly like myself, maybe, and if you wanted to get one of these things, I would say this one. But even if you only got these three, it would be pretty good. But hey, if you could rock blue, baby, go for it. So the next thing is these bronzer palettes. This is the first time I'm actually using palettes because I don't understand them. I just don't get them. Like it's palettes and you just put your brush over it. Like why can't, I just wanna, Listen, I am not a, f like I'm fancy, like I'm bougie, don't get me wrong. When it comes to blush or bronzer, I don't need balls to fucking rub against and then rub on my face. Like, I don't know, it just seemed too like, why would I ever use this? <laughs> Since it came with the collection, I had to try it. So these are the bronzing pearls, which I'm gonna hold them a certain way because I don't want them to fall over my carpet because I will cry. They basically look like cocoa puffs, so almost to the point where I might have to hide this because in the middle of the night when I get hungry, I might look to these as a snack. Not good. And it sure should you not smell like cocoa, so. <laughs> Actually, I don't even know what that smells like. By the way, do you hear that? That's my nose. It's terrible. The first time I used it, I was like, holy shit. I used a smaller, denser brush. And I found that it was like, when it was concentrated, it was like, bam, really, really dark on my skin. And it looked off-putting. However, when I used the product with this giant powder brush, I seemed to like it a little bit more. However, it's something that I don't think, just because of like how messy and weird it is, I don't think I'm gonna be reaching for it a whole time. Doesn't mean that I'm gonna give up on it. I am gonna try it again. I think it came out pretty cute though, but honestly, I don't think I would ever repurchase this or ever purchase anything like this. So once I use this, up it's it's gone baby like I'm done I'm just gonna hold on to the fucking packaging though because it's really fucking cute but I feel like I have no reason to ever sort of use this kind of product it doesn't add anything to my makeup routine and the same kind of goes for the blush highlighter thing at first here's the thing and I think they have a missed opportunity with because in Pac-Man when all the little ghosty guys go blue and white they could have made a sick fucking white highlighter or like a sick icy blue highlighter that would have been fucking great but they didn't do that instead they gave us a blush lighter which again much like those cocoa puffs 
This kind of reminds me of like the Neapolitan cereal at Trader Joe's. If you don't know what that is, look it up. It's delicious. Applied it with two different kind of brushes, one with a little bit more dense. Didn't really like that it was like so bam in your face. I also cleaned this brush off and applied it with this brush and I liked it a little bit better. But again, it's like so, I don't know, I'm just not a fan of these ball things. Knowing me, I'm clumsy as fuck. I will literally throw this all over the floor and then have blush lighter all up in my carpet for years to come and I ain't trying to do that to this place. I just got this place. I can't fuck it up. But what I do think is interesting, there's a shade in this palette that kind of almost looks very similar. So if you do like the glow of this, just get this. It's less messy and it's really cute. So that was the one thing it's like, if this was different, I could understand like, okay, I can understand why this is included in the collection, but it was almost identical. This is kind of a hard pass for me, but if you like this sort of thing, to each his own, I guess. I don't know. So the next thing is the High Score Blush Palette. This is the thing that I was probably the most excited about because one, I really do like Wet n Wild blushes, plus I love the fucking packaging on this guy. It has all the little money amounts, so fucking cute. I think this is probably one of the standouts in this whole collection. I think it's beautifully pigmented. The only thing is I don't know if it's really gonna be showing up on deeper skin. I know for me, I'm uncooked chicken, so I'm hoping that for my deeper brothers and sisters, this shit shows up for you because this is really fucking cute and I think everybody should have it. I would say it's definitely one of the nicer drugstore blushes that I have tried in a minute. So I highly recommend checking this out, especially if you like this color story. The other thing that I really like about this is that these colors are complementary to each other. So I feel like even mixing everything, you don't look like a garish Annabelle doll. Like it looks really fucking nice. And I think definitely for the kind of summer moment that we're all having here and that we're all sweating our balls off, this is very, very beautiful. So I highly recommend uh, if you're gonna pick up anything out of this collection, that this is gonna be like your top thing because this is so fucking good. So fucking good. It's disgusting how good it is. And last but certainly not least, the main attraction in here, which is the, and I can't even fucking open it because the packaging on this is so fucking stupid. It's the eyeshadow palette. Now for today's look, I didn't actually didn't film this because, well, I'll explain. So the first time that I used this palette, I was completely in love with it because I was like, holy shit. This is probably the nicest rainbow-esque palette for drugstore that I've ever seen in my life. Beautiful. Today when I was playing with it, I was like combining different colors. I was making myself look like a fucking peacock. I was having the best time. And and then I fucked my look up because I was like, oh, I think I need to add liner. And I don't know why. I don't even do a lot of liquid liner. I really don't. But if you know, I just need like a little thin black line. It's gonna look really cute. And when I did that, I fucked up everything. Like everything hardcore. So then I was like, okay, all right, I'm just gonna like take a little bit of makeup remover. I'm just gonna remove that black line and then I'm just gonna put a little product over that. Well, fortunately the makeup remover got into my fucking eye and made me have some sort of reaction. So then I had to take all my makeup off <laughs> and then I had to let my eyes breathe for a couple minutes and then apply this makeup on. So this is the look that I created today. Honestly, I just wanted to be really simple with it considering that I almost blinded myself earlier today. It's definitely for this time of year, I think this palette is so fucking pretty. And what I like about it is, is that all the colors work so well with each other. Is that when you combine them, they don't look muddy. I think they have a really great opacity. There is a little bit of kick up. There is a little bit of fallout, especially with the darker colors. And if you have your base, especially with the blue, it looks like somebody punched you in the fucking face. What I love about this is that it's so fucking easy to use. Like it's dumb easy to use that like you can just take a couple of colors and actually make a really beautiful colorful look. So the first look that I created was actually for that Wednesday, the same day that I met the alien guy on the train. Everybody was commenting how they really, really enjoyed my eye look that day and whatever. And it, it's unbelievable how easy it was for me to create it. It probably took me less than 10 minutes. Like it's insane. And that's what I love about these shadows is that they are able to blend together so seamlessly and so well. As for the color choices in here, I think they're really beautiful. They very much speak to the whole Pac-Man theme. This yellow for drugstore, pretty fucking good. I'm not going to complain about that yellow. I didn't have any issue with any of these shades with the exception of this glittery one. It's kind of more of a glitter topper. So it looks like, you know, it looks nice. Like if you use your finger or whatever, because if you use a brush, it kind of like fucking blows everywhere and it looks like Tinkerbell shit on your face. But today I was trying to see like, oh, you know what? Maybe I can take the shade and make it a highlighter. So that's what I kind of have up here on my cheekbones. You see it's actually pretty glittery. And I think for the most part it works. However, that shade wears off. So, and I think it's because it's really, really, really glittery. So that's the only thing is like, I really wanted to try to see if I could make this to be a highlighter, but no, no luck. No luck at all. I'm gonna still try to keep playing around with this because I don't want to give up on it, especially for my uncooked chicken ass. This looks pretty nice. Yeah, but you see like it just doesn't, 
like it wipes away. That's my complaint. So it's like I can't even make it a highlighter shade. It makes me so sad. I highly recommend checking out the eyeshadow palette if that is of interest to you. So for me personally, I think the three big standouts in the sky is the eyeshadow palette, the blush palette, and the lip glosses. Everything else is either okay or a no-go. Those are the three things you should focus on. So if you happen to find yourself in any of the stores or Wet n Wild eventually starts selling it on their website and you want to get something from this collection, I don't necessarily think you need the whole thing unless you're a crazy weirdo like myself that likes collecting packaging. If you're like a big fucking Pac-Man person, go for it, bitch. Who am I to tell you otherwise? But in reality, I don't think everything in this box is worth it, especially for a $70 price tag. But I have to say though, I am so fucking pleasantly surprised about the quality of Wet n Wild. Like I've always liked Wet n Wild, but like some things are kind of real hit or real miss. I would say that the Wet n Wild eyeshadow is probably the best Wet n Wild eyeshadow I've ever tried. Because what was also really cool about it, and I forgot to mention this, is that it has a really long lasting power, which is really nice. Because that day I went to work early, even though I came home, I drank a lot of vodka that day. And even though I was sweating and like disgusting, but I look still look good. Also, I am still gonna be doing the video about the Tetris collection. It's just, I just haven't had the time yet. And honestly, when this came in, this was hands down so much cuter than that Tetris collection. Like, hands down, bitch. <laughs> So that's why I kind of I started with this one first, but I am going to do the Tetris collection and I'll kind of compare the two to let you know if, if you were still interested in buying one or the other. So anyway, be on the lookout for that video shortly. And uh, yeah, I guess that's about it. So let me know down below how you feel about everything. If you're going to get anything, if you're not, blah, blah, blah. Just let me know because I love hearing from you guys. And on that note, I want to say thank you so much for watching. I truly appreciate it as always. Feel free to like, comment, and hit that subscribe button. It's free. And hit that bell icon for notification of all my fucking posts. Follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, Discord. On Thursdays, we do The Miserable 3 and sometimes I'm on Twitch. So all that stuff will be down below. So come stalk me and I'll see you little pumpkins later. Bye.